Hey guys, what's up? Um, I have another Mega Bloks review with now my all-time favorite set ever. Set number nine seven one one eight, Cauldron Clash. I have to sit back on a chair because the set is so big. The box, it is huge. There's some amazing box art on here with a lot of awesome Halo Four figures. Let's um uh. Let's get to the back of the box before we do the set. Oh, whoopsies, some figures fell. I'll fix that in a little bit. Here's some back of the box pictures. Um, some uh other sets. The characters Promethean Knight, the Promethean Watcher, Promethean Crawler, UNSC Soldier Soldier Spartan, and the UNSC Marine. Um, in the bio it says, Welcome to Cauldron Clash, a multiplayer map on Requiem where the best troops mix it up in a fight for survival inside a forerunner structure. Alright guys, here's the set. The most amazing set I have ever gotten. And um, uh, I've only reviewed three products, but I have gotten literally hundreds of sets it's just that most of my stuff has been broken by um uh, I have nephews and cousins that are very young and so I most of my stuff gets broken unfortunately which sucks but this is one of my all-time favorite sets well I think it is my all-time favorite set because of it's just amazing let's um uh, let's start off with the Spartan soldier here he is one second I'm gonna Okay, here we go. Here's the Spartan soldier. He is amazing. He's an awesome, awesome figure. He looks great. I love the soldier armor in Halo 4. So, I can't... I just love it. I mean, it's awesome. He's got a peg hole, of course. Like, pretty much all figures. Um, And he comes with a railgun, brand new from Halo 4 very very nice I like that a lot it's a little thin and I'm worried it might like be snapped or something but uh, he um, uh, comes with this extra piece of land and this and this is like one of those old Hayabusa sword holders basically put it into his back the peg and then you press this onto it and it looks like it, he's um, uh, uh, basically I would say jumping because Right here it shows jetpack, but the set does not come with a jetpack, which I was kind of angry about, but oh well. So, that's the Spartan Soldier. Alright, next up is the Halo 4 Marine. He is awesome. He is the my favorite, favorite Marine. I mean, he's one of my favorite figures. I just love him. Especially after watching Forward Unto Dawn, that series was awesome, and he looks just like um, the main character. He is awesome, though. Very detailed, comes with a backpack, it's removable. And he comes with a brand new Halo 4 DMR. It's a little small, it's kind of like how the battle rifle was, they made it a little small, but I, I, I don't really care. It's still amazing and just awesome, so... Yeah, he's awesome. All right, next up, we're gonna do the crawler. This figure is awesome. He looks just like them on the game, and he's only got five different um uh, points of articulation but they're very good because they're all ball joints it's all the legs and the head they're all on ball joints and you can't there this actually is pegged on this top armor so that would be really helpful for stop motions I guess very nice looking though sorry my camera doesn't want to focus today yeah very nice figure okay next up we've got the watcher comes with this 
um, uh, to make him look like he's flying. I'm going to take him off quickly. All right, here's the watcher, as you can see. He looks amazing, very detailed. Surprisingly, he has six points of articulation. He has his feet, his arms, and these little ear flap things. And I guess you could count the wings, but they're on a clip. So I, when, or the discs, I guess, which make him hover. Very good figure. He helps to make the set complete, I guess. And you can also fold him up and put him into the Promethean Knight, which I will show you uh, really soon. All right, definitely the best figure of the set, the Promethean Knight. This guy is awesome. He is just my favorite figure of all that I have. I mean, look at this guy. He is awesome. He's greatly art articulated. He's got great details. He's got so many points of articula articulation. I think it's like 16 points. Yeah, 16. Um, He's got his little tiny arms. Hard to see in the game, but if you look up close on Halo 4, you will see these little tiny arms right here. You can move them. They can hold weapons, but they don't in the game, so that would be kind of weird. Right here on this arm, he's got a scatter shot, which is removable. I will show you that. And it can be wielded by any figure that has arms, that is. <laughs> um, and here's his hard light blade. That is just cool. I mean, look at that thing. Cut someone up. Yeah. Um, his head is fairly detailed. I mean, his eyes are on there, but you can't see the teeth like in the game. Um, you can open up his little flaps. That's what that's to put the watcher in, which I will show you. Yeah, he's got great detailing everywhere. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to put the watcher inside of him. All right, if I can set up my camera. Okay, basically here's the figure. What you're gonna do is lift out all the flaps all of them you have to have all of them and you're gonna take your watcher and you're going to fold the discs to the sides and then put down everything so he's as compact as possible so like this then with a little bit of work you can get him in but it's a little hard you're gonna have to go in feet first and then you push the little pegs through his discs close it up and bam you've got a watcher inside of the Promethean Knight whoopsies okay now on to the set the set is amazing it is huge um it's got three different bridges that you can um uh, adjust up and down that one this one and this one um it's got this awesome tower it's just awesome really cool it's got lava on the ground just like in the game lights and it's got a feature in the game right here there's a barricade that you have to blow up so they made a feature when you push this down the barrier pops up like in the game it's got a better one of that though that was a fail Okay. Yeah, so that's a nice play feature. You basically just press it down. You can put it back up, except for it gets goes back down because it's on a little joint thingy. You just put this on, and it's controlled by, you know, gravity. Yeah. And if you hit it really hard, it'll go up flying. I'll try that. 